Hi, I'm Ruth. And I'm Sean. And this is the YouTube channel where kids get their inventions made. Kids invent stuff. We challenged kids to send us their ideas for crazy musical instruments. And we were sent loads of amazing invention ideas. So we're going to be making Radine's fire and water shooting piano. Kids invent crazy musical instruments. So how are we going to convert this piano into Radin's fire and water shooting piano? Well, on his drawing, he's got four pipes. I think two in the middle shoot water and the two at the end shoot fire. I'm thinking for the water, we could use some of the stuff that we use for our custard firing superhero suits. Like the pressure washer pump? Yes, nice. and I think that would be quite impressive with the water. OK, and for the, for the flames, I guess we're probably going to need to use some gas. So either propane or butane, which is like sort of camping gas. Um, so excited. <laughs> so we can get some nice big, big flames. So we have to guess release the gas and then ignite it. Um, it's going to be pretty dangerous. I think if we can do it so that when you press the keys, it releases it and then stops. I think it's going to be really impressive. So we use these like switches. So okay. water, gas, water. So we like so we can either switch on the pump or open a valve to release the gas. To build Radin's fire and water shooting piano, we're going to need an existing piano to modify. His drawing shows four pipes on the back of the piano, two that shoot water and two that shoot fire. So we're going to need a supply of water and a pump to pressurise that water. We're also going to need some gas that we can burn to produce our jets of fire. We'll need nozzles to produce jets of water and some valves to send out some bursts of gas. And to trigger our pumps and valves, we can hide some switches under the keys of the piano so that when they're pressed, the water and the fire shoots out. We've got three different types of pipe. We've got pipe for our water, we've got gas pipe, we've got copper pipe, pump and our nozzle to fire out water. We've got two of these things which are called solenoid valves. They're going to let our gas out in bursts. Lots of different gas fittings that we're going to use to create our fire pipes. We have a little blowtorch which we're going to use for our initial lighting of our little flame. So we've got here our Arduino which is a programmable circuit board and we have our relays and these will allow us to switch on and off our pump and our solenoid valves. We've got two batteries to power everything and we've got these switches which we're going to put on our keys so when we press the keys the fire or the water shoots out. We've got this wiring to make it all work together. We've got a barrel we're going to fill with water and down here we have a piano stool which is essentially going to be a piano stool. So pianos are actually pretty awesome bits of engineering. We got this one free from someone who was moving house so it's a little bit out of tune. Have a look at how it works. So when you put a key on a piano, white key or the black key, what happens is you lift up this little arm uh, that comes off each key. So that's attached to the key and it sort of pivots and it pushes up these little pillars here. And on the end of these pillars and wires is a little hammer. Um, and when you push the key, that hammer hits against, it's got a kind of soft end on it, it hits against these wires. And each of these wires, these strings, are different lengths and they're tensioned to give that note that you hear. Underneath the hammer is a little soft pad. So when you push the key, the hammer comes up and hits the string. And then when you release the key, the little pad comes in, touches against the string and stops the note. So I'm just finishing up some code here for our little Arduino. And what that will do is that when a key is pressed on the piano, a switch will speak to our relay module, which will then activate either the pump for water or our solenoid valve for the fire. So here we've made um, a bit of plywood with some holes and some little slots cut in it that we can stick our little micro switches in. We've got a whole load of slots along there. We can push our switches inside. We've put some magnets on the back of this bit of wood so we can mount it on the piano. So this is actually the lid of the piano that you lift up to get at the keys. 
and we've screwed uh, some strips of steel to it so that it's magnetic and we can stick this part on there and we can basically move this along to choose the keys on the piano. We can choose any keys we want and we can actually move the switches around as well in each of the different slots to pick any keys to set off our fire and our water effects. And actually, we could use this to set off any effects we wanted. It doesn't have to be fire, it doesn't have to be water. If we wanted to, we could set off some lights or some smoke. Um, so we basically built a piano that works as a switch for anything. Don't try this at home. building our fire and water shooting piano and we have here a big water barrel and we've got our pump so the water will be pumped up from there and will come out of the nozzle at the top and we've got our fire shooting components as well so we've got a valve that's going to connect to a gas cylinder and we've got a, a little tap that we can control how much gas is coming out of that the gas will go along the pipe up through here so we can let the gas in and I go along these two pipes here and then we've got our solenoid valve, so we can control and sort of open and close uh, to send out puffs of gas. And these things, which are like little pipes with gas coming out, that we can light. And there'll be a little flame here that will ignite our puffs of gas and give us hopefully some quite big flames. So join us next week when we'll be testing Radin's fire and water shooting piano. Thanks for watching. Bye. Kids invent stuff.